Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, today I am going to show one way load distribution in SAP 2000 and design of one way slab in SAP 2000. We have noticed that uh, there is no option in area section define one way or two way option in slab section as we see in e tabs in SAP there is no option so there is another way to assign one way slab or to provide one way load distribution so both i will show so let's see this is the slab we have modeled here and to see this local axis of this slab you have to oops, click on this view display option then go to area then click on local access by default it is not showing click on this then it will show local access in this local axis uh, symbol uh, in sap the red color indicates the local axis one green color indicates local axis two and this aqua color uh, which is in upward direction it indicates the local axis three so for one way load distribution this local axis one will be the load distribution direction so we have to after modeling the slab we have to check the local axis of this slab so we have to be careful that local axis direction of red should be in proper direction so that it can distribute one way load to longer span or longer direction longer side beam okay now if it was uh, i am showing how to rotate the axis also assign area local axis if it was in 0 degree then local axis is in the red is in this direction short beam direction so the, the in this in this case we cannot distribute load in proper direction so if we want to do it properly we have to rotate the local axis now this is the perfect direction of load distribution in this model now we will assign the load click on the slab then assign area load uniform to frame only in this option we will get the one way distribution option this is one way you can make it two way also one way and this is in keep in g square change it kilo newton meter then i will assign uniform frame to shell I'll assign for example two kilo newton per meter square apply and for live i will assign define live load live at okay then here for example 3 okay now you see here the load distribution is showing it is distributed in longer span beam into side how can we see this go to display and this one show load pattern then here is the load options go to area then click on this uniform load to frames and this resultant 
then apply then it will show the load distribution to the beam so in this way we can draw a one way slab in cell now we want to design the this one way slab we will check the design code we will keep same at same as it is i say 318 14 okay now we will run design analysis this i will not run do not run an analysis monitor option we can see always show or never show whatever it is i can click on this then okay first sorry first we have to mesh this slab assign area automatic area mesh we will click on this auto area mesh into object I'll click on 0.3 meter 3 meter apply okay so now the slab is automated now we can run the analysis and now now our analysis is finished we can see the frame see the load distribution for the frames and share these two beams are not taking the loads now we can see the okay here unlock this i will check the slab section is assigned or not assignment section is none that's why it is not coming we can assign slab section this slab okay now we can run the analysis whatever it is if we provide none section or slab section it will distribute the load in the in its one way direction now we will run the analysis okay now it is showing with the machine we will click on shell resultant forces we can see here if we do manual load combination then we, we can see the load combinations I am not doing that one because this is simple example all of you know that load combination procedure now I can go for concrete design shell stress we can check top face bottom face visible face this is the stress okay now we will go for concrete design you can assign the concrete properties for the slab and then you can design this now we will check the reinforcement ast1 is in this direction and st2 in long direction so apply in the top face here nothing here some of the portion needs reinforcement according to the analysis in SAP or finite element analysis and this direction so this is in meter that's why the value is too small we can make it millimeter for checking the steel and going for bottom face here are the reinforcement for bottom in this direction longer direction 
and for short rotation this is the reinforcement for bottom face so in this way we can design one way slab in sap 2000 and we can assign non slab area also which has no section properties to distribute the load in to span in that case we need to provide the wind pressure in gable frame structure so thanks for watching stay tuned with my channel press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update